James Webb will go where no other telescope has gone before. You know, we've recognized when we look at these beautiful images that we really are looking back at our origins. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Universal Narratives, a channel dedicated to unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos. Today, we delve into the intriguing question, what lies at the edge of the universe? While physically reaching the edge remains unlikely for humans, we have a powerful tool in deep space that helps us see far beyond. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has recently announced groundbreaking discoveries about the edge of the observable universe. The universe's vastness has fascinated scientists, philosophers, and curious minds for centuries. While we don't know the spatial size of the entire universe, we can measure the size of the observable universe. At approximately 93 billion light years in diameter, the observable universe is a mind-boggling expanse. To put it into perspective, a light year is a unit of distance equivalent to about 5.88 trillion miles, or 9.46 trillion kilometers. So, the observable universe spans approximately 546.84 billion trillion miles, or 878.58 billion trillion kilometers. A truly awe-inspiring number. But why is the universe so immense? According to the Big Bang Theory, the universe originated around 13.8 billion years ago in an explosive event that triggered rapid expansion. Since then, it has continued to expand at an accelerating rate, driven by enigmatic forces like dark energy. As the universe expanded, matter began to clump together under the influence of gravity, forming stars, galaxies, and eventually, planets like our own Earth. These structures grew larger and more intricate over time, giving rise to the diverse phenomena we observe today. However, within this expansive growth, the universe is predominantly empty. If we were to shrink our entire solar system to the size of a quarter and maintain the same scale for the rest of the universe, the nearest star to our sun would still be two soccer fields away, just within our Milky Way galaxy, which is one of billions in the observable universe. When discussing the edge of the universe, it's important to differentiate between the universe itself and the observable universe. The universe, with a capital U, encompasses everything that exists, has existed, or will exist, regardless of our awareness or ability to perceive it. This includes all matter, energy, space, and time itself. The true size and shape of the universe remain unknown, and it's possible it may be infinite. On the other hand, the observable universe refers to the region of space that we can actually observe from Earth or space-based telescopes and probes. The observable universe is determined by the distance light has traveled since the beginning of the universe. It includes all matter that we can detect, such as stars, galaxies, and celestial objects. It forms a spherical region centered on the observer. Why can't we see the entire universe? Several factors contribute to this limitation. First, light takes time to travel through space. When we observe distant objects, we are seeing them as they were in the past, not as they are in the present. The farther an object is, the longer its light takes to reach us. Second, the universe is expanding, causing distant objects to move away from us at an accelerating rate. This red ships their light, making it more challenging to detect. Eventually, objects may move so far away that their light can no longer reach us. The edge of the universe is a fascinating and complex topic that has puzzled scientists, philosophers, and thinkers for centuries. Various theories attempt to explain what lies at the edge. One theory suggests that the universe is infinite, with no discernible edge. This theory is based on the cosmological principle, which posits that the universe is isotropic, meaning it looks roughly the same in every direction. If this holds true, the universe would continue infinitely without a defined edge. Another theory proposes that the universe is finite but still lacks an edge. It suggests that the universe curves back on itself, much like the surface of a ball. In this scenario, traveling far enough in any direction would eventually bring you back to your starting point. Yet another intriguing theory proposes that our universe is just one among many in a larger multiverse. Each universe within this multiverse could have its unique set of physical laws and properties. These universes may be separate or connected in some way. With the James Webb Space Telescope, we have a window into the early universe, allowing us to observe its intricate details and unravel its mysteries. 
One of the telescope's remarkable discoveries is the identification of the earliest strands of the cosmic web, a vast network of galaxies and filaments that spans the universe. This cosmic web emerged as gravity pulled matter together over billions of years, forming galaxies, gas clusters called nodes, and thin bridges called filaments. The cosmic web originated from tiny fluctuations in matter density after the Big Bang. Webb's observations have revealed some of the earliest filaments associated with distant quasars, challenging our understanding of the cosmic web's formation and evolution. The James Webb Space Telescope has also made groundbreaking discoveries in the realm of chemistry. By detecting a crucial carbon molecule called methylcation in a planet-forming disk around a young star, Webb has validated its sensitivity and resolution in studying the formation of complex carbon-based molecules. Methylcation, consisting of one carbon atom and three hydrogen atoms with a positive charge, plays a vital role in the formation of more intricate carbon-based molecules, even at low temperatures in interstellar environments. Additionally, Webb has shed light on the era of reionization, the transition when the gas between stars and galaxies became transparent, allowing light to traverse freely through the universe. By analyzing observations from JWST, astronomers have found definitive evidence that galaxies, particularly those existing 900 million years after the Big Bang, ionized the surrounding gas, rendering it transparent. This discovery confirms that galaxies were responsible for reionizing the universe and provides insights into their transformative role in shaping the early universe. Furthermore, the James Webb Space Telescope has contributed to understanding galaxy formation and assembly by studying protoclusters, groups of galaxies that existed in the universe's early stages. By measuring the velocities of galaxies within a protocluster and observing their shapes and structures at different distances and redshifts, Webb has revealed how galaxies cluster together and evolve over time. These observations have allowed astronomers to model the future development of protoclusters, providing a glimpse into the universe's transformation. In addition, Webb's Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey JD's, program has unveiled the earliest and most distant galaxies observed to date. JADES utilizes the JWST's sensitivity and resolution in the infrared spectrum to detect galaxies that thrived when the universe was less than 600 million years old. These ancient galaxies, with high redshifts ranging from 7 to 12, offer insights into the formation of the first stars and galaxies, and shed light on the early universe's evolution. As we continue exploring and learning more about the cosmos, the James Webb Space Telescope and its extraordinary capabilities will undoubtedly uncover more amazing discoveries. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay connected, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Your support means the world to us, and we can't wait to bring you more exciting videos. Join our growing community today and be a part of the adventure.